in the Imo State Capital, a Yitok for COVID-19 updates. Joining us in our Lagos studio is a cognitive psychologist, Mr. Tosi Imogeme. We'd like to thank you for joining us on the program. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Now, in Asia, um, when the pandemic really started, we watched, we saw, we read how they talked about discipline in their activities and some of the preventive measures that they uh, took. Um, even though some people even called that autocratic, the way the government, you know, cut down on a lot of things, uh, locked down a lot of things, and the aggressive testing that they also put, uh, you know, uh, together. But... Um, do we have what it takes in Nigeria, looking at the fact that we're still seeing an increase in cases daily? Yes, of course, I believe we strongly have uh, what it takes in Nigeria. You see, uh, even since the beginning of time, or since man has been created, it's been very difficult. Man has always fancied his freedom. So the moment you say, do not do this, that particular thing you're saying the man should not do becomes a big deal. And then it becomes difficult to refrain from doing it that psychologically. So what you do, you need to enforce laws that will cause civil behavior. That's what even happened, you know, during the time God had to say, okay, thou shalt not eat the forbidden fruit. If you do it, there'll be a punishment. So without punishment, without enforcing human behavior, it becomes difficult to manage human beings. Because the truth is, as opposed to machines where you just create codes and they, you know, follow instructions. Human beings, you need to be on your neck. You need to always enforce the laws for them to comply. So I think, you know, beyond a reasonable doubt that, yes, we have what it takes. All we need is for our law enforcement agencies to be much more disciplined, to take absolute responsibility. I've seen cases where, you know, in the bus, you see people are not supposed to sit. Um, we're supposed to have about three people in, on, you know, in, in on seats and then maybe during the night when you know, they are going home, you see they have four, they have five, some people even lap themselves and all that. So that's where we need our law enforcement agency to curtail the behavior. We have what it takes. So in terms of the new normal, the NCDC identified one challenge to the communications campaign. It said there were decades of mistrust in the Nigerian government. Um, looking at the efforts of the presidential task force on COVID-19, do you think that that is still a challenge to this Yes, it's a, it's a major challenge because the truth is, it's just like you uh, being in a marriage. If there's no trust, it cannot be a smooth relationship between husband and wife. So if your husband tells you that do not do this or do not do that, whatever he or she tells you, it becomes difficult to believe. And, you know, leadership has always been uh, has always been a major challenge in Nigeria. People do not really believe the kind of leaders that we have, and we see our leaders as those who we see them as self-centered. So I think the, despite the effort the PTF are putting in to ensure that things, you know, are well, you know, we adhere to the rules and regulations, Nigerians will always feel that, no, why should I trust the government that does not care about me? Now, we heard about relief funds being disbursed and... People, a lot of people didn't get it. In my own CDA, you know, I heard that they, you know, brought about five palliatives, and we have over 150 people. A lot of people, so you need to take this into consideration. And then we've had relief funds here and there being misappropriated, and these are things that the people are, you know, hearing. So it's easy for the leaders to say, "Oh, are there to rules?" Because yes, they're well fed up. They, are, they can't, you know, um, take good care of themselves. But for the average man on the street, you know that this poverty is only increased and unemployment is also, you know, increasing. The real pandemic here is no longer coronavirus. The real pandemic here is poverty. So I would rather, as a human being, you know, psychologically, I'd rather go out there and look for food for my child than watch my child die out of hunger. You know, if I cannot control, if coronavirus is something I cannot control, it's understandable that you're helpless about the situation. But that which you can't control, which is providing basic amenities, providing food and, you know, the necessary things for your family, if you cannot provide it, who would, as a man or as a parent, who would, you would not forgive yourself if your child should die. All right. I'd like to thank you, um, cognitive psychologist Tosi Mogeme. Thank you for your My thoughts pleasure. on this issue.